if you are using Visual Studio Code and writing type or JavaScript. Keep watching, because in this video I will show you an extension that I personally use to increase my productivity when writing type and JavaScript. If you are new to the channel, welcome! My name is Tuomo, I am a web developer and on this channel I upload videos and tutorials about software and web development. So if those are something that you are interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button below so you become part of this community and stay up to date on all the latest videos. But without further ado, let's get to the extension that I want to show you today. And the name of the extension is Quokka.js. And in short, it can be used for rapid TypeScript and JavaScript prototyping. Let's go ahead and install it so we can take a closer look. Okay, so I have my Visual Studio Code open and I'm gonna go to the extensions tab and search for Quokka. Quokka.js and then install it. Now that we have the extension installed, we can use it with command palette. And of course, command palette can be opened in Windows with Ctrl Shift P and in Mac with Command Shift P. So I'll just open up the command palette and type in Quokka. And as we can see, we have a bunch of different options we can choose from. So for this, we want to create a new JavaScript file. And what this does is it opens up a new file and also output window down here that will show some feedback for us when we type in some code. So the first powerful feature of Quokka I want to show you is the live code execution and results. So what that means is when we type in some code here, we'll right away get some feedback and results for that code. So let's first start off by just typing in a console log statement like this. So right away we can see in the editor what the console log statement prints, so hello. And also in the output window we can see the hello statement. And also for example if we made a typo so that the code would have an error, we would get the error message down here at the output window. This can also be used for displaying uh, values of different variables. So for example if we had a variable sum, which is sum of two numbers, like this, and then we wanted to see uh, what the value of that sum variable is. Of course we could console log it, but with Quokka we can just type in the variable name and we get the variable value in the editor itself and also down here at the output window. Okay, so this is how we would use Quokka as a playground if we want just to play around with some code. But uh, we can also use this extension on an existing file. Let me show you how. So I'm gonna open up a JavaScript file that I created earlier. And inside of this file we have a posts variable with a couple of posts in it. And Let's say we want to console log the second post. We would do like this. And now uh, we can see that we don't get any feedback for this. And that's because we need to first uh, activate Quokka on this file. And we can do it with the command palette. So let's open up that and type in Quokka. And last time we chose the new JavaScript file. But this time we want to choose the toggle on current file. So let's do let's do that. And once it loads, we can see that we get the feedback right as we did earlier, and also in the output window. Now that Quokka is active on this file, uh, I want to show you another feature that I often use, which is a value explorer. So let's say we deleted one of the posts from the array. Let's say like this. And now we logged the rest of the posts. Uh, we can see the 
value right here and also in here. But if this was a little bit complicated variable, it would be pretty hard to uh, see and understand it here. So instead, what we would want to do in that case is open up the Quark tab from the left hand side and right here under the index.js we can see a console log on line 23 and we can see that it's the array we logged. So the first element has the properties, the second is deleted and the third has also the properties. So this is a great way to uh, inspect, for example, objects more deeply than with console log and logging them to the output window. Third feature that I want to show you with this extension is the live code coverage. And as you might have noticed earlier, when we activated Quokka, we got these uh, different color squares in the gutter. And right now we have these uh, green ones and then one white slash gray one. If we have a green square, it indicates that the line of code is executed. If we have a gray square, that means that the source line was not executed. Red square, it means that the line is a source of an error. And a yellow square means that a part of that line is executed. And this happens most often when the line has a logical expression or a ternary operation. So let's test these out. So I've defined two variables a and b, which are both false, and then a c, which is uh, true if a is true or b is true, and false if both, both of them are false. So in this case, since the a and b are false, the c is also false. We can check it with typing it here. So the c is also false, and thus the console log statement is not executed as uh, indicated with the gray square. So what happens if we change the a to true, the c statement or the row that c is defined is colored now as yellow because a is now true but b is not. And as we discussed earlier, the yellow square appears when the row is partially executed. And now c is true and since c is true, the console log statement inside the statement is also executed as seen here. Now if I change the b to true also, we get the same result. And let's change the a to false. We can see that now since a is false, this line is no longer colored as yellow because it's now fully executed. Because now that a is false, it also checks the value of b. So in order to see what the error looks like, let's create an error. So let's say we want to see the value of b2. And now since we don't have a variable called b2 defined, we get a red square here and an error message. So the code coverage is really handy because you right away see if you have any errors or some parts of the code, code that are not executed and which lines are executed successfully. Quokka has two versions, a community version and a pro version. And the community version is free of charge and the pro version has a paid plans. So all of these features that we went through in this video are in the community version and you can use them for free. Just to mention a few of the features that are in the pro version only is the live value display, unlimited value explorer. Uh, this means that uh, when you are using the value explorer, you can only get two levels deep with the community version. And if you want to get deeper in, for example, inspecting objects, you need the pro version. And then you also get uh, things like live comments, project file imports, quick package installs, and live performance testing. So this was a short introduction for Quokka extension in Visual Studio Code. I use it whenever I need to do some testing or scratch pad work with JavaScript or TypeScript.
I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.